Hey guys, welcome to the Animation Movies Recapped. This is David with you. Today I am going to recap a 2022 American computer animated science fiction action film called Lightyear. There are heavy spoilers ahead, grab your snacks and enjoy the recap. In the far future, a massive ship, dubbed the Turnip, carries a colony through hyperspace to an unknown destination. The ship makes a quick pit stop at a planet named Takana Prime. In space, Rangers Buzz Lightyear and Alicia Hawthorne traverse their newfound surroundings for any resources. Buzz is a dutiful ranger with a habit of doing things on his own and makes mission logs to help him focus. Alicia, his best friend, mocks him for this and has been with him since the early training days at the academy. She also brings along a recruit named Feathering Hempston, whom Buzz is indifferent to as he feels that he can do things without the aid of anyone. Shortly after meeting the rookie, the trio are attacked by living vines and large flying insects and rush back to the turnip. Buzz takes control of the ship and hastily tries to maneuver it off the planet, despite Feathering Hempston and Alicia trying to offer their help to him in the low altitude that the ship has. He just barely manages to fly the turnip off the ground but it hits a cliff, causing them to lose air and crashing back down on the planet. With the last of their Kritzalic fusion energy wasted, Buzz offers to have himself stripped of his rank. But Alicia perks him up and gives him a new mission to get them off the planet by using the planet's resources to make a new crystallic fuel source. One year later, the colony has developed a civilization with vines and bugs only being a minor problem. A new fuel source is created and set to be tested by Buzz himself. Their plan is for Buzz to use the fuel to fly off the planet make a swing around the closest sun and try to reach hyperspace before safely landing back on Takana Prime. Buzz flies off to the sun and manages to loop around, but nearly damages the ship's engine, forcing him to eject the fuel and sling him back through the safety hoops. He successfully does so, but upon landing notices that Airman Diaz now has a beard, when he did not have one before. Diaz reveals that his trip caused him to miss over four years on Takana Prime. Buzz is reunited with Alicia, who is now his superior, and brings him up to date on how his trip is affected by time and asks that he abandon the mission. Buzz additionally learns that in the intervening years, Alicia met a scientist named Kiko and is now engaged to her while the colony has chosen to build living quarters. Buzz is given his and is additionally given a small robotic cat named Sox who was designed to be his close companion. Buzz has a nightmare about his crash and decides to give Sox a mission to find a suitable formula for a fuel source. He meets up with Alicia and manages to convince her to let him go again until they find the right fuel to get off the planet. In the years that Buzz spends traveling into space and back, he witnesses Alicia's life flash before his eyes. Her pregnancy, her family life with Kiko, her son's graduation and marriage in her autumn years. Buzz eventually returns to find that Alicia had passed away, but left behind a message telling him to continue the fight while also revealing her granddaughter, Izzy, who aspires to be a space ranger. Alicia's office is now occupied by Commander Burnside, who informs Buzz that the mission to get off the planet has been canceled, and that they will make do by building a laser shield. Shocking Buzz. Buzz solemnly returns to his living quarters and learns that Sox managed to successfully find a suitable formula for the crystallic engine. However, soldiers, dubbed Zappers, arrive to decommission Sox and Buzz flees with him. Sox uses his ability to use a tranquilizer dart to get past one Zapper, making Buzz realize that Sox was initially designed to keep him in line. Using the formula, they manage to create the perfect crystallic fusion but the computer carrying the information gets destroyed and Buzz and Sox flee once again. They manage to get back onto a spaceship and escape the Zappers with Buzz flying around the sun and successfully achieving hyperspace. Buzz returns to the planet, but finds that things have become much more barren. He is rescued by a cadet from a robot who teleports itself and Buzz's ship away. The cadet reveals herself to be a grown-up Izzy Hawthorne. Buzz has traveled over 22 years into the future. Izzy reveals that the robot came from a giant mother ship floating above the surface of the planet, dubbed the Zerg ship, after the fact that the robots can only say Zerg. 
She further reveals that the robots are surrounding the colony who have placed up their laser shield and are trapped. In order to defeat the robots, they need to blow up the ship, which they can now do to Buzz being a pilot. Buzz, Sox, and Izzy reach the fort where the latter introduces the rest of the team. Darby Steele, Mo Morrison, and Eric. A robot. With the plan set in motion, the group is suddenly attacked by a robot that blows up their ship and tries to carry Buzz away. At this point, it becomes apparent that each member is ill-equipped to handle any action or danger. Nevertheless, Buzz manages to disarm the robot and Mo. Unintentionally puts it out of commission by tossing a harpoon at its head. Buzz learns that the group is actually junior patrol and are not even considered rookies. Mo came aboard thinking that he was attending a workout boot camp and has always been a quitter. Darby is trying to shorten her sentence after having stolen a ship while Izzy, who is well knowledgeable in her grandmother's life, lacks patience. Without a ship, Buzz resolves to get a new one. Eric informs them that they have an abandoned hangar nearby, but even have suffers from a major flaw as he is unable to provide a proper pathway to it on a map and becomes distracted with trying to correct himself. Despite Buzz's reluctance, the rest of the patrol insist on coming along with him as they too know the way. They arrive at the hangar where Buzz plans to part ways with the team, taking socks with him. The interior of the hangar is littered with the eggs of the giant insects. Buzz finds his old uniform, but is followed by the patrol after he accidentally took their keys to the truck. They end up alerting the insects and lock themselves in the changing rooms. Buzz resolves to have the patrol wear the other uniforms and use the stealth mode to get out while he and socks leave via the spaceship. The plan works, but Buzz forgets to tell them that stealth mode is limited energy, and the whole group is forced to escape onto the spaceship and fly out of the hangar. They avert the insects as well as another spaceship that tries to shoot them down. During this time, it is revealed that Izzy suffers from astrophobia, the fear of space, which would technically ban her from being a ranger. Buzz and the crew manage to safely land the ship, but they blow out a fuel cell. Izzy directs the group to a nearby mining facility to get a spare part. The group managed to find a space part in the control deck, but Mo accidentally triggers an alarm causing red cones to come down and trap them. Working together, they manage to destroy the controls, just as the control deck breaks off and nearly falls into the mine. The group gathers together and eats sandwiches from a vending machine that oddly enough have the bread inside and the meat outside. As Mo sulks over nearly costing them the mission, Buzz admits that when he first got to the academy, he was one of the worst rangers, but that Alicia saw something in him and pushed him until he became one of the best rangers in the squad. As the team head back to the ship, they are attacked by Zerg himself who is after Buzz and ignores the others. Zerg speaks to him telling him to come, but the team rescue Buzz and get back onto the ship and escape. Zerg sends his minions after the team and they hastily fly away with Mo and Darcy using weapons to fend off the robots. As they attempt to fly, Izzy presumptuously releases the crystallic fusion and they lose it to one of the robots. As Buzz walks away defeated, Zerg appears again and captures him before disappearing, leaving the team in shock. Buzz is taken to the mother ship and confronts Zerg, but he stops him. Zerg is revealed to be a giant suit and within it an elderly Buzz who also kept his version of Sox who has slightly deteriorated. Old Buzz reveals that when he returned to Takana Prime, Burnside immediately arrived to arrest him. He continued to travel into the future with Sox until he arrived at a point where the technology had advanced beyond anything he could imagine. Using it, he has been traveling back in time to prevent the crash that stranded them on the planet but has nearly used up his crystallic fusion and has been hoping to use Buzz's. Buzz is happy to learn that they can go back, but realizes that Alicia was always happy with her life and that it could potentially mean that Izzy and her friends cease to exist. He refuses, intending to simply get the colony off the planet, and old Buzz reveals his true colors by capturing him. However, old Sox uses a tranquilizer to knock him out and decides to help Buzz with getting off the ship and returning the crystallic fuel. Back on Takana Prime, Izzy realizes that they can use the teleport disks from the robots and transports herself, Socks, Mo, and Darby up to the mothership. 
Izzy and Sox go looking for Buzz while Mo and Darby struggle to stop the incoming robot army. Old Sox takes Buzz to the control room and sets a self-destruct timer for two minutes. However, Old Buzz returns as Zerg and destroys Old Sox, forcing Buzz to face him in combat. Izzy and Sox find Buzz, but the fastest way there is by jumping out the airlock towards the cockpit. Izzy finally conquers her fears and they jump out and reach the other side of the ship. Mo and Darcy unleash their trap on the robots just as Izzy and Sox enter and help us take care of Zerg. They grab the crystallic fusion and teleport back to the main deck to escape via the ship. The ship explodes, sending Buzz flying and uses the crystal to power his own ship and fly towards his friends. Zerg is revealed to have survived and grabs the crystal, forcing Buzz to eject and blows up the crystal along with Zerg. He flies and rescues his friends by steering their ship towards the ground and managed to fall with style. Buzz admits that he blew up the crystal, but has accepted his life on Takani Prime as his home. With the whole team safe, they are approached by the rescue team along with a very angry Burnside. Burnside reprimands Buzz for the years of going against protocol, only to congratulate him for saving the colony. Wanting to restart the Space Ranger program, he offers any member of the Zappers to be a part of his team. But Buzz has already decided on his own. Adorned in brand new upgraded armor, Buzz and his team prepare for their next mission. Buzz and Izzy admire a statue of Alicia before continuing to their brand new ship. Buzz, Izzy, Mo, Darcy, and Sox get set for a brand new adventure with their motto. To infinity and beyond. In a mid credit scene, Burnside is sitting in his office looking over papers when a giant insect is zapped by the laser force field. Something that makes him very proud. In a post credit scene, Eric finally maps out the perfect route to take to the hangar, only to realize that everyone has already left. In a second post credit scene, the Zerg armor floats through space after the explosion, and the eyes of the suit light up, indicating he survived.